Uh, as you can tell, there's no difference in the feel or the appearance. So on this side, you can see it just immediately, completely just soaks right in. So that water is going down in there, deep into the pores, where on this other side, you can see it, it doesn't even go in, it just sits there on top. The concrete is very, very, very porous. So it wants to wick the moisture in like a sponge. And if you're in a coastal region, you're also introducing the salt fog from the coastal area. And that salt travels through the concrete with the moisture, okay? And inside that concrete is all the steel reinforcing metals that hold the concrete together. Concrete itself is not structural. You need concrete to be held in place and give it structural integrity with rebar. Now, the rebar is made of steel. So if you take the steel and you put salt water on it, it corrodes it, rusts it. Then it expands and cracks. Now you've cracked that concrete and you've created an additional expedited path for that moisture to get through because you're now cracking and spalling the concrete. And so this piece of concrete in front of you has been tested for years now. This is probably three or four years old. You can see it, a, a difference in appearance. When this started off, it looked the same. This side is sealed, this isn't. But I've done this so many times that the water is actually damaging the concrete just from the demos. And again, I'll just, I'll just point out, this, this is breathable. It's just a water repellent. It's not waterproof. You will get a very little bit of moisture, but it's not migrating through the surface. And, and doing a little water test will, will demonstrate that for you. So I'll just put this at a bit of an angle so you can see. And see, a very definitive line. This is again, all look the same, but now this moisture is just running off. And see how quickly it wicks into the concrete? That's, that's going through the concrete at a very fast speed and is now approaching and hitting that rebar and causing the rebar to rust.